Hello, St. Philip Lutheran Church. Uh, welcome to our Living by the Spirit daily devotional on this Tuesday, September 15th. Uh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that this day I may live in your presence and praise you more and more. Lord Jesus, I pray that this day I may take up my cross and follow you. Holy Spirit, I pray that this day you will fill me with yourself and cause your fruit to ripen in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Amen. Our reading for this day comes from the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon at Peter, and who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing now, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, he put on his robe and had returned to the table and said to him, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your teacher and Lord, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are no greater than their master, nor are messengers the greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Our topic for today is loving God's family. And uh, we are going to look at uh, what it means to serve and what it means to be a servant. To serve, uh, we are being the ones who are in charge. We get to choose when we want to serve and whom we want to serve and what act or what extent we serve. To be a servant, uh, you're surrendering your right to choose those things of how and when and who you serve. You're more like a slave. Well, Jesus shows us what it means uh, to be a truly loving servant. When he washes his disciples' uh, feet. When he washes, uh, he's, he's uh, washing them with the physical aspect. There, but there's much more to this. Jesus uh, tells uh, Peter, he says, uh, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. When Jesus talks about being bathed, he's talking about baptism. So in baptism, we're made completely clean. We have this gift of the Holy Spirit that's given to us. But when it says, except for the feet, Jesus is referring to the fact that daily we sin. That we still have this uh, human nature, this selfish nature to sin. And for that, we need to be washed 
daily. We need to be cleaned daily. As the disciples and the people in the, this biblical time washed their feet daily. There's a basin in uh, homes right at the front door for people to wash their feet because of the dirty roads and just wearing sandals. So there was a need to wash. And Jesus says that we daily need to wash ourselves because of our sin. But our baptism has cleansed us and God has forgiven us. So all we need is that daily wash, which we're given in baptism through Christ and God's forgiveness. God washes us daily. So we give thanks for that. And God, uh, Jesus then uh, tells uh, the disciples that uh, they now uh, see Jesus as, his, as an example for them. And that they too should go out and wash other people's feet. That they should be servants that they should do it in a loving way, that God is calling them to be servants, not to just serve. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for knowing that uh, we are filled with your Holy Spirit, forgiven each and every day. We thank you for cleansing us in our baptisms, and we thank you for washing us each and every day because of our sin. Help us to know that you love us, that you uh, stoop down and wash our feet just as you washed your disciples' feet. Lord, help us to be loving servants, to follow your example, not to just serve others but to be a servant as you call us to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit fill you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen. Have a blessed day.